Hey there again. Welcome to another video. Here we'll be doing an example. We'll be doing simultaneous equations. Once again, let's look at it. Let's solve the following. Right, so we have 4y plus 3x is equal to 100. That's our first term, or our first equation more like. And then we have 4y minus 19x is equal to 12. That's our second equation. What's our first step? It's always going to be the same. What do we do? We write down our equation and we try and isolate one of the variables. Okay, so which one are we going to choose? Think about it. Okay, we'll choose 4y. So we're going to take the 3x across. When the 3x goes across the equal sign, it changes from a positive to a negative. So we say 4y is equal to 100 minus 3x. Let's divide both sides by 4 so we can get y on its own. And we have 25 minus 3x over 4. Right, there we have a basic equation for y. Let's start with our second step. Now, in our second step, we know exactly what we need to do. We take our x equation and we take our y equation. And then we substitute the y equation into the y part of the x equation. This way we can get rid of all of the y values and we'll only have x values, which we'll then calculate the answer to. So there we go, we've circled that. Let's move forward. So wherever we see a y, we need to put 25 minus 3 over 4 times x. So we have 4 times 25 minus 3 over 4 times x minus 19x, which is equal to 12. Now, take note of this. We do not see any y's. Once again, it's very imperatively important that you do not have any of the other variables, in this case y, in your second step. They need to be eliminated and you need to now solve for the main variable now, which is x. So we multiply this 4 in, we have 4 times 25 is 100. When you times 4 and 3 quarters, the 4s cancel and you're left with minus 3x. You then carry the minus 19x down, making no change to the sign. The reason for that is that it has not crossed the equal sign. Bring your 12 down and once again no change to sign. So, what do we do now? We now need to group our like terms. We've got uh, two types of x's. We've got a minus 3 and a minus 19. So ideally, we'd like to put them together on one side and we'd put the, no the no normal numbers on the other side. So we'll say minus 3x minus 19x, which will get you minus 22x. And on the right-hand side, once we take the 100 across, it becomes 12 minus 100. Or we say minus 100 plus 12. Either way, it doesn't really make a difference. That gives us minus 88 on the right-hand side and minus 22x on the left-hand side. We now divide both sides by minus 22 to isolate the x value. We then get x is equal to a positive 4. Remember that this is not the last step, we still need to sub this x is equal to 4 back into y is equal to 25 minus 3 over 4 x. Right, let's get on that. So, so far we've figured out what x is by itself. And now let's plug that 4 into this equation. So 25 minus 3 over 4. The 4s cancel, leaving you with 25 minus 3, which is 22. So now we have found our x value and our y value. Now we need to make sure that they're correct. So we go and check our answers. Once we've got our check done, we then write our final answers down. As we want to be very professional in answering our test papers. All right. So x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 22. Easy game.